Hey guys, so I won a bunch of stuff yesterday on a high bid auction and it's in Georgia, about two hours away, not too far. I spent about $500. I'm hoping they'll take my Florida resale certificate. They told me to bring it, so hopefully that'll knock off about $50 and then a friend of mine actually wanted $40 worth so really hopefully closer to $400 that I spent tons of pieces I'm going to show you guys and we're going to add up what the retail value of it was because on a lot of it I couldn't see it so I'm really excited it is all glass and breakables if my eyeballs look red my contacts are driving me bonkers this morning um so yeah so let's see how much I got and let's go to Georgia all right guys so we are here in georgia i'm gonna flip you guys around this looks like i don't know if it's still a functioning antique mall or it was a functioning antique mall um but yeah there's an antique shop it looks like there's a thrift store on the end i don't know if the stuff's still open but i'll flip you around and show you Hey y'all, I am on my way home. I just wanted to show you this zebra. So this place, it's like a game preserve, but it's kind of cool. They got all kinds of weird stuff. So, cool zebra! Hey guys, so we just got home. I'm going to flip you guys around, show you the trunk. And everybody there thought I was crazy, but I didn't wrap anything. Because A, it probably wouldn't have fit if it was wrapped. B, I didn't want to wrap it. And... Yeah, there's no C. I just didn't want to wrap it, and it wouldn't have fit if it was wrapped. So everybody was looking at me like I was bonkers. So let's see. All right, so first glance, here's my trunk, and there are three layers like this. And I just have this quilt in between. So looks like everything, and it is a two hour drive. Um, but looks like everything's intact. So yeah. We'll see as we get it out. Um, if you guys see, like, this was a $250 set. And I'll show you guys some more of the prices when I go through it. Maybe. I don't know how long of a video that'll be. So, this is just a little sneak peek. Hey, guys. So, I'm not going to go over every single individual piece or individual set with you guys that I got of um, this china and dishware. But I do want to show you some of the high points and what to look for. And I also want to tell you that if you find China sets, 9 times out of 10, you're better off listing them individually. Most people, especially with older sets, are going to be looking for replacements. They're not looking for a whole set. And you're going to get more money selling them individually as well. So I'm going to show you guys some brands that when I looked up, the comps were good and um, some patterns as well. And also, just to let you guys know, I spent $5.15 originally on this auction. $40 was for my friend, so five or $4.84. And then I did spend another $80. The gentleman who had the antique mall booth that these were in, some stuff wasn't paid for so he asked if i would buy it without a buyer's premium anytime you bid on an auction on high bid there's going to be a buyer's premium so make sure you watch for that this one was 15 percent, which is pretty high uh, i think average is about 10 percent. so watch that make sure you calculate that into your costs so for my let's say 580 once my friend um, gets her stuff I think I got over $5,000 in China. I'm pretty sure. So let me show you guys and hopefully you'll see some more of this as it sells. All right. So if you guys look like this says $56 for a set of six. So there are multiple sets, but I only paid 
I want to say 10 to 15 for all of them. So these, if you look, are haul. And this pattern is crocus. And the nice thing about most of this stuff is it came out of an antique booth. So I have got exactly what it is there on the tickets. So there's a bigger serving bowl. This really pretty. And this is not named. Um, but it's a hand-painted dresser set. I paid about $5 and... I think I can get hopefully around 50 if not more um, and then these are tan Sean deck the halls this is one of the sets that I might put the salad plates together because I believe they have the 12 days of Christmas on them and then these are MCM Starburst these I I will hopefully at least break even on, but I'm not going to make as much as I thought because there's another um, MCM Starburst pattern that goes for way more. I think it might be a Pyrex pattern. These are Taylor Stone Cathay, and I saw a big set of these sell for $3.25, but I probably will break them down individual first. So, this one is not marked, but I believe the plates in that set are marked. I wanted to find one of those to show you guys because this is the same. And these bowls, it looks like, are going for $40 to $50 each. I did pay 50 a set, but if you see all the brown pieces, there's quite a few. And these are the ones from the same maker that I showed you guys, the vase and my last what sold. This is Russell Wright. And Iroquois is um, the type of the china, and then you have to find your color. So these bowls sell for about, like I said, about $50.00. I will probably price them somewhere around there, and that's just if they're covered. So, I've only got a few. You see another one over there, and this set, we can see, this set was originally $250, and I paid $50. So, watch for Russell Wright. Some of his coffee cups were going, and these are marked. Some of his coffee cups were going for $200 for one cup. So watch watch for him. These are really pretty flow blue. I think these are from the 1800s. I'm going to have to find the plate that has a maker on those. And then here's another flow blue willow pitcher. So like I said, I'm lucky that a lot of this stuff is labeled because a lot of it doesn't have stamps. And then this is one of the items that I added on at the end. This is a really pretty picture. And it is Brussels. Cool thing is this is from 1890 to 1900. So that one is stamped. So, yeah, so that's here. You see some milk glass as well. Keep an eye out for milk glass pieces. And I'm going to go show you guys what's on the other table. So, if you see over here, this is a lot more of the Russell Wright pieces. And some more of those covered bowls that sell so well. These are also Russell Wright. This is one of the sets that I added on. These aren't marked. I'm going to have to research a little bit because he says they're Russell Wright. But everything else that's Russell Wright that I've seen is marked oh and actually here you go they are marked and these are Steubenville these are going to be worth more these are like my picture that I sold so that set he said told me that the buyer um didn't pay and that I would be able to purchase them here is another really neat flow blue plate this is called polychrome if they're multicolored, they are polychrome and it says circa 1850 this one is stamped 
So watch for that because you can definitely search when they are. There's another Flow Blue plate that I got. And this picture, I'm going to have to look up, and it has a sticker there. Kamark Pottery. This is a trophy vase. And this he had priced at 100 bucks. So I've got to research some of this stuff. I have found actually sells for more on eBay than he had it priced. And some of it sells for less. So... You have to do your own comps and kind of figure out what you're going to do. All right, guys. So I am going to finish the video up here. So I hope you got some tips with most pottery, china, list individual because most people are looking for replacements. Check your comps for sure. You don't want to overprice. But if you're the only one there, you might want to check something like Terra Peak or Worth Point and see what your item's worth. Because if there's no more available, you'll want to price high. Because if somebody needs that replacement and you're the only one that's available, you're going to be able to get a nicer price for those. So I appreciate you guys watching. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and drop me a comment down below. And let me know what your favorite piece is.